These nine Final Cut Pro tools will totally change the way you trim video. I'll show you my favorite trim tactics. They're so easy to use, but the pros love them. Then I'll show you how to trim fast during playback. And be sure to stick around till the end when I show you how to get precise with your trims. Okay, in Final Cut Pro, make sure you have the select tool. It's this arrow. If you don't, click on the tool selector here and pick select, or even faster, just press A to bring it up. Now to trim your clip, hover over the end or the beginning and click and drag that to trim your video. So if I do the end and drag it to the left, I'm going to trim my video. If I do the to the right, I'll expand my video or I'll make it, it longer. I can also do the same on the beginning. I'll click and drag on the beginning. And if I do it to the left, I'll trim my clip. You'll see it's shorter. But if I go to the right, I make my clip longer. When you're trimming, you'll notice this little time code that pops up. The number on the left tells you how long the duration of your clip is. So right now it's one second and 20 frames. And the number on the left tells you how much you've changed it by. So I've trimmed this clip by four frames. Change to the position tool by selecting it in the tool pop-up menu or by pressing P. Its icon is an arrow without the tail. Now when you click and drag on an edit point, the beginning or the ending, it keeps the duration of the project intact by creating a gap clip as I trim my original clip. This is the gap clip right here. It's a transparent clip and Final Cut puts that in there to maintain the timing of my project. Now switch to the trim tool. Click on the selector and select trim or faster, just press T. And the trim tool has this little icon. It looks like an eye with a left and right arrow on it. Now click and drag left or right on an edit point and you'll see that I'm trimming one video clip and extending the other. And up here in the viewer, you'll notice we have two screens. On the left, we have the end frame of the first clip. And on the right, we have the first frame of the second clip. If you don't see that, open up preferences by pressing command comma and go to the editing tab and make sure show detailed trimming feedback is checked. All right, with the trim tool selected, click and drag on the center of a clip left or right. And you'll notice we're changing the start and end time of this clip without changing its duration. This is called a slip edit. We're slipping the media in between its start and end points. The next one's called a slide trim. So with the trim tool selected, hold down option and click and drag on your clip to slide it in the timeline. You'll see that the clip maintains its duration and I'm sliding it to the right or I can slide it to the left. And you'll notice the clips around it are being extended or trimmed based on which movement I do. Now you can also do all those movements one frame at a time. For example, I'll select my clip here and I'm going to press period to move it forward in time one frame at a time. You'll notice that it's trimming the video clip to its right and extending the video clip to the left. I can press comma to go back in time and do the reverse. Press A to go back to the select tool and select the end edit point of your clip and then press comma to trim it one frame at a time. This is really handy when you want to get a very precise, specific trim edit done. I can also press period to extend that edit. Now press T and select an edit point and press the comma to move that edit point back one frame at a time or period to move it forward in time one frame at a time. If you hold down shift for any of these movements, you can do 10 frames at a time. I love the roll edit. I use that one all the time. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're enjoying this video, if I'm doing a good job, please let me know with a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. In just a second, I'm gonna show you my favorite way to trim clips on the fly. But first I wanna show you how to extend an edit. All right, go back to the select tool by pressing A and select the end of a clip. Then move your playhead forward. And if you don't see this red playhead right there, that's called the skimming playhead press S to turn it on. So I've just turned it off and I'll press S again to turn it on. And now I have this skimming playhead and it follows my mouse. All right, so I want to extend this edit out. So I'm gonna select the end of the clip and I'm gonna move my skimming playhead over here and I'm gonna press Shift X. And you'll notice that it extended that clip out to where my playhead was. You can also access it by going up to trim and selecting extend edit. You can also trim to playhead. So I'm gonna move my playhead towards the beginning of this clip. And then I'll go up to trim and I'll select trim playhead or I'll press option forward bracket. And you'll notice that it trims that clip to the playhead location. 
the skimming playhead will take priority. So if I move my skimming playhead here and press option forward slash, it trims to that skimming playhead. And if I'm on the other half of my clip, it will trim the end edit point instead of the beginning. So I'll put my playhead here towards the end and press option forward slash, and it trims the end clip. Another way to quickly trim your clip is to use option right and left bracket. So I'm gonna move my skimmy playhead to where I want to trim this first clip right there. And I'll press option left bracket to trim the start edit point to that playhead. And then I'll move my playhead where I want it to end and I'll press option right bracket. I use this one all the time. It's really quick and it's especially handy during playback. So watch this, I'm gonna play back the video and use those shortcuts to start and end my video clip quickly. All right, so I'm gonna play my video back and as it plays, I'm gonna hold down option left bracket for the start point and you'll see it trimmed it. And now I can hold down option right bracket to trim the end point. You can also trim a selection. So I'm gonna to go to the tool selector and select range or just press R to bring that up. And then I'll click and drag on my clip here to select a section of it. I'll go up to trim and I'll click on trim selection or I can press the same keyboard shortcut as trim to playhead, which is option forward slash. And you'll see it trims that clip to whatever I selected. You'll notice in the trim menu that trim to playhead is no longer available. That's because we have a section selected and so it swaps it out for the trim selection command. All right, switch back to the select tool by pressing A and then double click on any edit point to open up the precision editor. We have our first clip here and then our second down below. And this is the edit point. And this media that you see over here is part of the video clip, but we've cut it off right there. And so we don't see this in the video anymore. This is media that we have room to work with. And the same down here, this video here on the left-hand side that's grayed out is video we won't see because we're cutting into that video clip at this point right here. You can trim clips by clicking and dragging on the clip to change the trim point. You can also click and drag on this line here to change the trimming as well. Let's move this top one all the way to the end. You'll notice that when I try to extend this clip, I have a little red handle on the end. What that means is there's no media left to extend with. And if I double click on that and go back to the precision editor, we can see that there's no media left over here on the right hand side. So I can't edit past that because it doesn't exist. So when you're trimming or extending, make sure you have enough available media to make those changes. Once you're done editing, just press escape to get out of the precision editor. Now that you know how to trim your video clips, next you'll need to know how to crop your videos in Final Cut Pro. Here's three different ways to do that.